and from 2015. Julia Gillard dumps on Rudd, but stops short of calling him a misogynist. Each had been prime minister and each lied about liking the other and working well with them. At the time, Gillard claimed she was being bullied. She had been highly lauded as a policy person who was deputy and held more ministries of substance than anyone else in history of Australia's parliament, not counting transitional governments. Gillard is lying about Rudd's abuse and Rudd is lying about his support. Neither of them had good policy now. The media is lying about what they knew and when as they were partisan for each when they were Prime Minister. So everything that is said is reported as shocking, when really it is merely what liars and opportunists do. Alan Bond might be dead soon. He has had a heart operation. The surgeon could not restart it after the procedure. Now he's in a coma and his blood is regulated by machine. He isn't rich. He isn't smart. He isn't graceful. He has a spectacular history as entrepreneur. His high point was the America's Cup race of 1982. His low point was engaging in the corruption of WA Inc. and the Australian Labour Party. Russia and MH17 is a never-ending story. The tragedy of the shooting down of a passenger airline is masked by the need for Washington to blame Putin. The base of the problem is Ukraine, which, egged on by Washington, has created the condition for war. They probably were behind the shooting, either by instigating the shooting or doing the shooting to set up Russia. But Obama's foreign policy seems to be to restart a cold war, to force small Smaller nations to bow before bigger ones. The benefit for Ukraine is to be shelled and fought over. In regional terms, someone needs to court India because they are a wild card. India is unlikely to ally with an ally of Pakistan. Seth Blatter quits, sort of. His position is he will stay on until December or January to bring in new leadership. The old leadership was inept and corrupt and should have nothing to do with bringing in the next leaders. Expect Blatter to be forced out in days. New South Wales Upper House votes to abuse Eddie Maguire. The bill was put forward by the Greens. It highlights the independent nature of the Upper House of New South Wales and the fact that the independents are appallingly bad judges of behaviour. Even were Maguire the worst felon, it would be inappropriate to use Parliament that way. It is evidence the Greens need to be deregistered for abusing privilege. Maguire is a good person who is allowed to the voice of opinion. His opinion on the field of behaviour of former Australian of the Year Adam Goods was salient. It should have been against the code of conduct for players, but there's a double standard at the moment regarding Aboriginal activity. Race is no way to unite a people. I don't see anyone here at the moment, so I'll put a stop to this, but if you come across this video later on and you like it, like it, and feel free to comment and share. Spread the love. Be well.